Hello, today we're looking at Deepin 15.9.2, which is a very long name, and it's been released yesterday, so it's just, just out, and it's a fantastic release, there's nothing major new to the system, so I understand why they don't, why they didn't make it 16.15.10, or maybe even 16, I think, because this release is still based on Debian Stretch, Debian 9, so, I wonder if, when Debian Buster come out, if they will not make them jump to Debian Deepin 16. I have the suspicion because they're so close to Debian 16 and we, so maybe we are in for a huge upgrade any day soon. I would really like to see Debian Buster here in the future. A few changes which is noticeable is if you go to the file system, one of the things people always tell me about is there's no search option that you can search for your file, file system and things like that. So they added it to this release and that's a major, major fix and you can type in anything. Let's type in deep. And as you can see everything works. So you can search now, I know it's nothing new. But it's something that wasn't here before and it was a big deal. So I'm glad they added into this release. So as you can see it's a new release with as many like minor new releases all over the system. A few bug fixes, it's still kernel 4.15. If you open up a terminal, I press Ctrl, Alt and T together. And as you can see it's still 14.15 so it's really old, it's the same as Ubuntu 18.4 but yeah it's, I hope of, I hope Debian Deepin 16 is close by and I hope it will be based on Debian Buster and I hope they will upgrade the kernel and upgrade a lot of the apps in the app store because there's some older stuff still here so that, that will be fantastic and as you can see Yes, some. Um, you go to the different toolbar. I don't know what this office suit is. It looks interesting. It looks only like Chinese. I want to install this. It looks like a fun office suit, but I don't know. And yeah, so since Deepin 15.9, we had this option here, which you can hide your notifications, which is a pretty cool feature. I just want to see this offer suit. I never saw this offer suit in my life before. Jiggy Room. I'm sure I said it over there. Translate. Oh, it's like online office. So you will have to sign in. It's like an online office suit, like a web app. An electron app, so that's quite cool. It's cool that they got like apps like this in which no other software seem to have. A lot of electron apps, even MS Office. And you got some plugins here, which you can choose. It's an online on-screen keyboard. And the efficient mode is basically your Windows mode. It is in this in the previous release really become more and more like Windows, even with the show, even with the show desktop button exactly like your Windows layout. So it's cool. People are used to it, and it's they are doing a great job by making it open source and nice and easy to look at. So there's no real Updates in the wallpapers, it's a few things like that they can maybe work on. And the screensaver, it's something that, that they were brought in in the previous release of Deepin 15.9, but here you can set the times now, and you can choose to require the wallpaper. And there's some classics and some glorious ones. And I think it is, I like the way that they, they display the features. It's many struggling with, but they are doing something 
superb to display something. They got all the features and they just display it perfectly. So if you go to, I just quickly want to go to my system monitor to see the RAM usage and things like that. So by default, it's now it's 1.5 gigabytes of RAM, which are oh, the deepest stores up. No, it's 1.3. So it's really not, it's really not bad for nowadays. The stores, and this is such a beauty. It's a QT based desktop environment, like LSQT and KDE Plasma. So that is also quite cool and I'm trying to think of what I wanted to look at. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, yes. So they got this into this welcome screen also which you start off your system with. Introduction maybe. There we go. So they got this they they don't have a 32 bit ISO, it's become more and more the case, but I got this one which is like 1.3, 1.4 gigabyte when ordering, and I got this other, the more fashion mode, oh, so that's not what I want to look at, but it's a fact. So basically this will take down the memory to about a gigabyte. So it's a lot less you can save by just if you don't have so much RAM or anything, you can easily switch to the less graphical version. So yeah, the, everybody knew before and but for me it's a fantastic release. Nothing, nothing majorly new, but you can't expect it because it's a point release of already a po point release of Deepin 15, which is quite funny. But it's a still shining. It's clear. It's easy to understand, easy on the eyes and I think they've done, done a great job with this release, and I think, I hope they will, we, we will see the Ambassador soon, I, I, and get all the software, because some of the software in the App Center is not anymore the latest, I hope this will be updated with this release, and I hope maybe we will see Deepin 16 coming out soon, with some new, major, good looking features, yeah. So I think it's a fantastic release, and absolutely worth upgrading to. And it's easy to upgrade, you just run your updates. There's no official ISO of this release, so you have to download Deepin 15.9 and then run the system updates to get to 15.9.2. But in general, great job guys. Thank you for watching, see you later, goodbye.